What if Guido's strategy transformed the camp's morale? In this segment, I'm going to express the only what if that I've felt could be, could carry some weight and still impact the film enough where it makes some sort of change, but keeps what I like about the film. Um, so we're looking at Roberto Benigno's Life is Beautiful. This film, renowned for its heartwarming story of a father's love and imagination in the face of unimaginable adversity. But what if Guido's strategy to protect his son, Josue? Joshua. Was that him? Jo- <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. Protect his son, Joshua, extended beyond just their family and influenced the entire camp. So, imagine then Guido's original mistranslation um, of the German soldier's orders, uh, originally an incredibly famous scene, as Jamie said, in the um, film. Very funny. Doesn't really have any impact apart from uh, he does it. The other camp is like, what are you talking about? He goes, ignore it. Just listen to Ben, ben and- Bernardo or Bernadito, whatever his name was. So instead, what if this sparks a larger movement within the camp? And as he continues to shield Joshua with his inventive game, Guido starts to convince other Jewish prisoners to join in the pretense. I forgot how this part went when I rewatched it. Uh-huh. Been a while. I remembered, obviously, he had this game involved. But I was interested to see how he went about it. There were some really fun moments, weren't there? Like when they went on the um, intercom. Um, and really, I know everyone's in a, about as shit a situation as you could be in. But it's clear that they said no one else is going to partake in this. It's just going to be him yeah. and Joshua. Yeah. So um, what if effectively the others start joining in, maybe bit by bit? And the idea being that it becomes like a collective morale booster. Yeah, so okay. they actually become a part of it. And it's not just the effect that he had on one individual, but the effect that his magnetic personality managed to have in maybe saving some more lives. Um, one point in an example that I thought of is when Joshua um, mentions the man who was crying and saying that they're turning yeah. us into buttons, they're turning us into soap. It, soap, that was it. Um and Guido does his classic, you fell for that, that's ridiculous, yeah. can't believe you fell for that again. Now, he'd done that move before, hadn't he, with the kids, and he kind of continued the same thought. I'm thinking instead there, we use that as an opportunity where we've got someone here who is completely broken by the horrors of what they're seeing. Maybe the only thing he can latch onto with Guido's guidance is the idea of this game and at least saving this child from the horrors that we all know what's going on. Mm. So examples like that, examples obviously Bernardo was kind of, I think he was the closest to maybe playing up to it. Um, But realistically, he just didn't say that it wasn't a game. Now, what if we actually had a few more of them who really brought in kind of the camaraderie, the pulled together, you know, this is you know, about solidarity between the, the Jews that were in this camp. We're going to work together to protect this one child from effectively this clearly we know is, is this horrific event that we're all witnessing and we're all party to. Now, outside of that one example, what I would say is it would be quite easy to do. Like they could they could easily say, okay, the initial um, conversation he has with a German, he had a, a couple of people intrigued. And then day by day when he starts doing the events and doing all the hard labor and coming back and, and talking to the kid like, wow, what a day we've had. Look at all the points we've got. Yeah. You know, he starts bit by bit people joining in, getting to the point where most people are maybe at least referencing the point system. Maybe then you have the scene with the the one person who just is not gelling with this idea the button oh. guy and and they managed to turn him on side through another event of solidarity and talking to him about um you know doing this for the child's benefit um and you wouldn't even necessarily have to have that that pandering moment where he does the heartfelt speech maybe it's just guido's magnetic animated personality is enough to really turn people on side because he's expressed that he can do this with the love of his life maybe you can do it with these people and bring some element of light to an incredibly bleak situation now at the end of the film i thought maybe we could even add a tie-in where when guido decides to go and um meets dora that was it when he tries to go and 
he, he goes out, doesn't he, to try and save Dora. It ends up being the death of him, but he keeps his son safe in that that thing. Don't talk. You don't say a word. Yeah. This is the last bit of the game. Um, maybe we add another scene where other prisoners or maybe another sacrifice or, or they they manage to save Joshua when he comes out. They see yeah. him and they, they say he's won the game. Maybe when the tank comes, it's also the prisoner saying, yeah, this is your tank. So it could be a bit more of a, a bit less of a solitary moment for Joshua. Yeah. Add a few extra elements and maybe take a bit of the load off the just performance from Roberto Benino as I well. I would say that. That was probably the one gripe that I had with the film was too much airtime for that caricature. Mm -hmm. And now you've just opened up the opportunity for interesting characters, top tier performances. Like you've really opened the door for some sort of solution to that problem there. Yeah, and he's clearly like, you know, he's a ball of energy, so maybe he just overdid it. Yeah. If you one one complaint you can have with the film, one you have is maybe he just does the same thing for a bit too long. Yeah. And my um nostalgia is maybe affecting me not seeing that as much. This, as you say, would give you an outlet for a few other characters. Yeah, hundred percent. And also like the it feels like if that did happen nobody watching it would question it like it makes sense that guido's personality mm. would have that impact on the people around him it also made sense that it didn't but i certainly wouldn't having watched the film for the first time if that's what would have happened i wouldn't have gone that's weird why is that happening yeah it would have just made sense to me it's like that's who he is he does have that impact on the people around him yeah. like when i was coming up with my what if i did think about this and my thinking was if Guido had an impact and influence on the other prisoners, maybe he'd have ended up getting shot for it. Mm. Like if if the, if there was a if there was a a morale boosting source that the German soldiers had detected, then like that could actually put Guido's life in quite a lot of danger. Like it, so, he, so he perhaps, an perhaps if we follow that thought, his death scene comes maybe 20 minutes before the end rather than right at the end. Mm. And that's when you get a real opportunity. Like he could still be done in almost the same way. Yeah. Like he could still realize he's about to die, have to do his march off and have that moment of real sadness where they literally take him into a corner and kill him off screen, which I remember thinking like the when i first watched it i was like holy it was like i've never seen someone do a death like that in film right where they're like it's final and it's happened and we've not even shown you it and so you think is it what if, what if it has he survived you yeah. um, uh, you've seen him come out of all these scrapes the whole film yeah. and just amble his way through in the most creative ways yeah you you can't help but think when you hear the gunshot he's going to come around the corner. Yeah. And you, naturally, that's what you think. It's, it's such, a, such an unbelievable, it's such a really, Raw. really well done. Yeah. Painful yeah. moment. Oh, painful and, moment. Um, which makes it, even when the guard comes around, like I even now, I remember rewatching it thinking like, is he going to, I know he's not coming back, but you, you kind of hope that he comes back around the corner because he's hidden or he's played dead. Like that's his character and he doesn't. Yeah. And that's what's so, yeah, so great about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so you can still do that. And I think that scene is worth keeping right. in some sort of some sort of way. But maybe instead, he ha now we need other people to share the load. Like they need to yeah, they absolutely. need to step up. Maybe it's Button Guy. Maybe it's Bernard. You know, whatever his name is. Just reinforce the whole broader themes of the community coming together and sort of like uh, Joshua once he is, comes out of the prison camp. Obviously, he's reunited with Dora in the film, mm. but. For argument's sake, in this what if universe, he wasn't reunited with Dora because the likelihood of her making it out of that situation was quite slim. Then you've got this situation where it could show how the survivors of these situations come together to kind of form almost pseudo families to kind of fill mm. those gaps with each other. And, and, and that could kind of give Guido a greater legacy to have yeah. amongst the, amongst the community. Yeah, for sure. It would be. It would be. A, I actually genuinely think that could improve the film. Potentially, I don't. It's one, with all of these what ifs that we do. We do them for the purpose of you know interesting conversations. We, we we know that we're not going out there and doing the hard work to improve a film. It would be interesting to see someone attempt it and see if someone could execute it well. Yeah, yeah. 
Should we wrap that up there? Then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I enjoyed that. Actually. Thanks so much for listening. Let us know what you think in the comments mm-hmm. below. We've got videos coming out this week on Silence of the Lambs, 500 Days of Summer, mm-hmm. and obviously as well, we've got a couple on Life is Beautiful. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for listening, Dave. Cheers, Dave.